Hey all, Russ here over here at TV. Welcome. Check this out. Look at the big power lines. We're east of Quartzsite, about eight miles. This is Gold Nugget Road. This is actually a BLM camp area out here at Gold Nugget. And there's gold out here too. A lot of people come out and hunt. Rocks, all kinds of stuff. This is uh, kind of a hidden, not too many know about it gold nugget area but you can definitely uh, 14 day camp out here but look at the massive uh, power lines I had dinner with uh, my friend Kim Scott last night got in town yesterday we we're talking about all the new stuff around town he says you gotta check out the big transmission lines they're tearing up the desert cutting in new roads all kinds of stuff anyway we're gonna do a little roundabout town See what's happening around the big town of Quartzsite. Can't believe it's already mid-October. My goodness, huh? Nice and warm morning. Started off 80 degrees. <laughs> There's a cool down coming. Definitely a cool down coming. Next week I'll be over in Ehrenberg. At a big... Uh, grand opening RV resort right on the river anyone's invited that's on the 18th there's our rules about camping out here pack it in pack it out plus you have off highway vehicles you can use them out here but you definitely gotta stay on the paths There's a better perspective of what it looks like. I know it, this was in the planning stages for years. They had to go through a bunch of environmental impact and all that. See that little dirt road there? That takes you way back. You can camp back there. Big washes and old abandoned uh, gold shacks and tons of history. Mining in these hills right here dates back into the 1600s. The Spanish used to come here. Look how big those pads are for the towers. That's huge. Definitely changing the landscape here. They use helicopters, I guess, to set these things up. There you can see it. There's town so that would be Scadan Wash to give you a perspective they'll probably turn it I think they have to go around town but all kinds of dirt roads that's how they lay a new transmission line across the desert Isn't it pretty out here? I love the desert. I know some people don't, but I always think it's like Mother Nature's artwork. Gets hot. I just seen on the Phoenix News, they had 126 days of 100 degree plus weather so far this year. They're still going to have a few more. But it should be ending soon. Okay, what do you say? Let's head on into town. I've been out here a few times. I've never camped here. I don't know why. I should. There's cell towers right up on the hill, too. If you want good cell reception. That was a question I got. What kind of cell reception do you get in the desert? 
We'll have to do a run around. I'm gonna do all the campgrounds here in a week or two. All of the BLM, uh, LTVAs, long-term visitor areas, and everything around Quartzsite. We're going to go explore, and I'll check cell coverage, because that's important. I know with my Starlink, uh, I'm pretty much set up anymore, and Starlink worked very, very well last season. But the more people that get it, we'll have to see. Okay, right up here is I-10. There's still remnants of some of the old road to uh, Highway 60 before they built the interstate out through here. Now if you go straight, it turns in another dirt trail. So you can drive your ATV all the way out here, on the, right off to the right there. The trails kind of follow along the uh, interstate here. Yeah, they cut right through those hills. That is huge. Money, project, transmission lines. I think it's going all the way through California, too. Progress, huh? All right, we say let's check out town. Exit 19, this is one you always want to use when it gets busy here. And it will get busy. Usually over a million people come down here throughout the winter. And enjoy the desert. No snow here. Still gets cold though. People think it's hot. It's not. December, January, you can get very chilly. Once in a while you get a freeze. A few years ago it actually uh, a dusting of snow in the top of the mountains. But it only lasted like an hour. <laughs> All right, down on this end you got some of the gas stations. Uh, Arco and Chevron. Make a right, this is actually uh, Regal Street. And trucks everywhere. This is a truck stop town. There's a look at Arco. That is probably the busiest place. They always have about the best price in town for fuel especially diesel. Big mobile home park, been there forever, and busy, busy I-10. Out that direction is where those power lines will be. This is Main Street. Quartzsite's not that big of a town. It's only a couple miles long and a couple miles wide. A few years ago, this used to be all RV dealers down here, and now there's only, I think, one left. 
on the right, supposedly uh, they were going to put in another big truck stop that never happened. There's Reader's Oasis Bookstore, old Paul Weiner. His wife still runs it. Uh, he passed away a few years ago. Was quite the entertainer, quite the individual. Hi, Jolly Monument. Ooh, we'll stop. We'll see it. And there on the left, there's Patty's Propane. Probably the best place to get propane in town. They got a new bottled water store there. I don't know if it's going to open. And on the right, there's one of the grocery stores. And you got good old Crawford's on the left. That's an old-time RV park. I stayed there years ago three years in a row. It was okay, but very noisy street. Everything's noisy here with the freeway. I-10 is constant traffic. Then some of the good restaurants, Taco Mio, they got authentic Mexican food. We're coming up here to Central and Maine. This is the main drag. To the left, take you down to Yuma, to the right up to Parker. There's a good look at Central Avenue. Busy, I-10, constant. The amount of trucks on that highway now is just insane. There you can see Main Street cutting across town. Down there you got your post office, another gas station. That's a busy post office too. They have general mail delivery, all that. And that's looking out towards uh, exit 19. That's where we just got off the freeway or interstate. All that land across the interstate there, that's all for sale. They've been wanting to put in like big hotels forever. It's zoned for it, I think. Hey, look at that green grass there. I never noticed that. Huh. I had never noticed that all the years. There's Rice Ranch. Uh, someone bought it. They're turning it into a big RV resort. They dumped a bunch of money and time and everything in there. Well, let's just keep right on rolling. Once again, this is Quartzite. There's a post office off to the right. Then this lot on the right hand side, that's High Alley. It's a little showground, been there forever. Museum right there is on the left next to the pizza place. Then we're crossing over Mighty Tyson Wash. The whole drain system for the town. All the palm trees on the left. There's Holiday uh, Palm. That's a big RV park. Got Hasslers. And then up here on the left is 88 Shades. Nothing's changed here, huh? Oh, Solar Bill. The building on the right. He'll be opening. 
probably uh, pretty quick. Got us go and see Gus and Rose there. He's a good guy. They're good, hard-working people. Fun to talk to, too. They got a great sense of humor. Then this town has two dollar stores. <laughs> One at each end. Stagecoach. Then where the yellow tank is, there's old Kenny, K and B. He's like a hardware store, sells all kinds of RV products. There's a sign for the High Jolly Monument. Let's stop a second. This is on the National Register of Historic Places. Tens of thousands of people stop here to visit this tomb of High Jolly. He was an old camel driver back in the 1800s. Settled here in Quartzsite from Syria, I believe. There's a lot of the history of him uh, down at the museum here in Quartzsite. Definitely worth checking out. There's even ghost stories of him riding a red camel in the desert yet. <laughs> so you never know. Might see a ghost. Then they got another memorial over here. I believe this one's for a silent movie star. Buck Connors. They named their local little festival after him. The mayor here in Quartzsite's really into all that western stuff. And he's buried here with his uh, family, I believe. Pretty cool place. If you ever get a chance, stop, check it out. And here we are, downtown Quartzsite. <laughs> Big old pilot truck stops are down here. Those places are jam-packed year-round. There's a Chamber of Commerce on the right. Good place to get your local information. Check their website and Facebook page. That blue building there on the right is a tire shop. Oh, you know what's here? Something new. Made a lot of... Uh, Headlines here in Quartzsite a couple weeks ago. Tesla for car charging. They just put in 80 plus uh, charging sites. Look at this thing. Probably cost a few million. They got solar panels so that it gets shade on the cars. Because Interstate 10, that's a long ways, especially going over California. They also have another charging place uh, over there next to Carl's Jr.'s. So that's got to make over a uh, hundred plus charging stalls. Future, that's probably why they need the big power lines. Uh, look at all this electrical. This is big bucks. Progress right here in little old desert town of Quartzsite. Well, what do you say? We'll cut over on the other side. We'll go over to Tyson Wells. Check out the game store. Back through here. This gas station is fairly new. High price though. The best place to get fuel is down at Arco at the other end. Then these buildings. I have to look at more of it. They're starting to 
put vendors in these buildings again. There's new owners. I'll have to check that later on. Vendors will really start showing up here in November and December. Alright, here's the dreaded Exit 17. They really need to fix this thing. Not bad now, but in the winter time when the town's really packed, you can sit at this thing for a long time trying to get out. There's no traffic lights. Skinny little bridge here. So always use 19 when the busy time. There's another truck stop, good old Love's truck stop. Another one that is just jammed, packed. There's a cardboard sign corner. All the panhandlers hang down here. All right, this is Kewen Street. There's another look at the pilot. I don't know how much fuel these guys pump, but it's a lot. And there's downtown quartzite. Sure looks different from the air. I want to check out that new uh, charging Wow, look at the amount of solar on those uh, awnings, car covers. But they're building them across the country. You know, traveling this summer, I've seen a lot of Tesla charging areas. They're putting them everywhere. Don't those mountains look cool in the background? Straight out, there's Dome Rock Road. Huge. Camp area, 14 day, free camping. Good old Q Mountain. I'll have to hike it this year. It's been a while since I hiked up top. Well, let's keep right on rolling. We're going to go to, down and bug uh, Barb and Kim at the game store. They should be open by now. This pedestrian bridge has been there for a long time, ever since I've been coming here. Back in the olden days when there was more vending on Main Street, you could walk back and forth because you couldn't drive the streets. That was way before Main Street was four lanes and all that. A lot's changed through the years. I'm really trying to find older pictures of quartzite. There's a few at the museum, but nothing with all the old vending. So I'm on the hunt for that. Hopefully I can find them this year. I thought it would be kind of cool to show. And here's Mighty Tyson Wash. Turns into Raging River and Big Storms. Looks like they got it all cleaned up. Ready for winter time.
Well, what do you say? Let's stop up here at the game store. Try to appear in the right. Tyson Wells, this is their main office for all the shows. Game store. All kinds of cool gifts. If you want stuff that says quartzite on it, especially Christmas shopping, come in here. They got t-shirts. Like cups and glasses. All kinds of stuff. You can get ice here. And it's open. The sign says so. <laughs> right now the hours are 9 to 5, 7 days a week. Let's go on in. Say, welcome to Quartzite. Welcome to Quartzite. <laughs> say it one more time. Welcome to Quartzite. Cool. Now you want to say, welcome to Tyson Wells Game Store? Welcome to the Game Store in Tyson Wells. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> Need a game? Look at this. There's thousands. <laughs> New ones every month come in. Absolutely incredible. Every board game, card game, dice game, kids game, puzzles, you name it, it's in here. Just a real fun place. A lot of hard work goes into collecting all this. They got a game group on Facebook. They get together and play games, uh, I think monthly or weekly. Pretty cool. Well, there's a look, your, there's your before look, we'll call it that. You can see the outline where the big tent goes. Few vendors setting up, not much yet. That grocery store is setting up down there. There's a good look at Tyson Wash, but look at all the off-road trails you can go for. Oh goodness, hundreds of miles of trails. Just all over the place. I'll have my buggy down here. I haven't brought it down yet. Probably November. We'll head out there and do some exploring. And that's all gold country. That's why they call it quartzite. There's quartz everywhere. Gold veins. Out there in Dome Rock. They got uh, claims for the gold metal detecting club. And there's town itself.
let's keep on rolling. We're going to head over to the other side of town. Already grabbed mail. I'm going to head north out of here. We'll sneak out past the town park and all that. Hey, let's see if uh, my uh, RVR TV cactus made it through the summer heat. The famous uh, one I always use for silhouette pictures and stuff. Hopefully it's still standing. Alright, make a left tip here in Regals. If you go straight, that takes you right out to Scadam Wash. It's where that RTR used to be out that direction. Off to the right, that's uh, La Posa North. LTVA camp area, huge, thousands of acres of camping, and the LTVAs are open now. I believe, might want to look it up, I haven't yet, it used to be like $40 for two weeks, or $180 for six months, over six months, you can camp on uh, public land. And they offer dumpsters and uh, sewer and I think water. I wouldn't be drinking the water out of the ground here though. <laughs> but there's all kinds of water places you can buy it, filter water. It'd be okay to bathe in and stuff, but I wouldn't drink it. And that's just me, that's my opinion. Okay, this is kind of where we started a little while ago. A huge lot to the left. That's supposedly where that truck stop was going to be built, but nothing ever happened. And once again, there's Arco. Diesel is shooting through the roof right now. Oh yeah, RV parks up here. There's Park Place on the left. Also, my buddies at Arizona Sun, my favorite RV park right here in Quartzsite itself. And we're right on the edge of the state land. I believe it's state straight ahead. It intertwines with state land and also uh, BLM, Bureau of Land Management. Trails out that way. Actually, the Peace Trail starts, runs through town uh, here. But right down here is Arizona Sun. This is my favorite RV park right in town here of Quartzsite. They got huge RV sites. Fills up quick. Be sure to call them if you're looking for a place to stay this winter and you want hookups. Nice big clubhouse. They got laundry rooms, clean restrooms. Barb and uh, her husband been managing this place for years. They're good friends. I've stayed there many times. Plus, they're right next to where the Peace Trail crosses. You see those trees down there? And you see the trails, the dirt trails? One of those starts the Peace Trail. Also, there's a 1,200 year old tree right behind those uh, water tanks down there. There's a little path with a marker, has benches under it. A lot of people that go there and relax, but they uh, determine that the tree's 1,200 years old. About as old as me. 
there's your trails out that direction. Too many people yet there at Arizona Sun, but they'll be coming in. You know, another fun activity they do in here. Let's, uh, here, I'll do a drive and buy. Another activity they do, the Christmas float. A lot of the residents here uh, put together floats, put in the Christmas parade. They won a prize last year, first place. There's our sign, Arizona Sun RV Resort. Then right here on the left, those are all privately owned. Those are deeded lots. You can actually own your own RV lot if that's what you're uh, into. That way you can guarantee a place every year. can't beat this weather. Right there on the right, that's a local police department. Quartzsite finest in there. Keeps the town safe. Not too many places for sale right now. You've got to look on Zillow. It pretty much got bought up during that real estate boom last year or two. I know the prices of real estate shot through the roof here. Okay, off to the right big town hall. That's where you get your business licenses and anything to do with town. They got a public library in there, free Wi-Fi. And straight across on the right, that's the old courthouse. Well, not old. I think they still use it. Then here on the left, here's Town Park with the airplanes. This is where they've been holding that uh, RTR last couple years. They'll probably do it again this year. Right there at the park. They also put in a huge dog parks. There's more than one, all fenced, got green grass, hard to grow grass in the desert, but they do it here. There you can see the ball field, that's where they hold that RTR now, and also the dog parks. They got big pavilions. And Kids playgrounds, skate park, all kinds of cool stuff. So out here is Celia's Rainbow Garden. Memorial Park, I think. Any more, it's over an acre. You can walk through the paths, memorial benches, right down there, right below us. And also the RC Park. Remote Control Aircraft Airport. They have all kinds of events all winter long. They even bring in those big uh, remote control planes. Pretty cool. That cactus is right up the road here. We're going to stop and check it. Then that trail, that road right there, that's the Peace Trail. Take you up through Baus. You can follow it. It's 700 miles, a big loop around Arizona. It goes clear from Yuma all the way up Lake Havasu. 
quite the adventure if you're up for it. Okay, let's go find that cactus, see if it's still standing. Yay, there it is. That is too cool for school. It survived another summer heat. The base of it looks pretty beat up. But I've used this cactus here for silhouettes and pictures for close to 18 years. All right, be back down here middle of the week. Journey continues. Talk soon.